the ocean, a deep blue expanse covering four fifths of our planet. It is regularly claimed that we know more about Mars than we do our own ocean, and perhaps part of the reason for that is because it's so dark and deep. But what if it was clear? Would we be prepared for what we might see? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm asking, what if the ocean was transparent? Before I get into this video, I want to ask you guys if you like swimming in the ocean. I'm here for it, but a lot of people are creeped out by it, which actually I think is thoroughly understandable because that's where octopus live. Do let me know your sea thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, if you find our videos entertaining and informative, please do leave a thumbs up. Why not also share it with a friend too? Because as they say, sharing is caring. Stick around to the end of the video where I'll be reading comments from another one, and if you want to delve further into our sources, check out the links in the description box. You'll also find the social medias of the people that went into making this video. Okay, let's get into some solid ocean chat. Firstly, let's talk about why oceans and lakes generally aren't clear, and why some can appear colours other than blue, like Hiller Lake in Australia, which is blooming pink. The answer almost always involves light, but often it also involves minerals. If you pour water out from a tap into a glass, you will undoubtedly notice that the water is clear. However, when you fill the bath, you may notice a bluish tinge. Light carries different waves. At the long end of the spectrum is red and yellow, and at the short end is blue and violet. Large bodies of water are blue, as the water absorbs all of the light on the spectrum, except for the blue, which is reflected back. Adding to the blue, water has a tendency to reflect, meaning it's also reflecting the blue sky above it back up and out, which is why oceans often appear bluer on clear days. On top of that, our oceans are filled with chlorophyll from the algae and plankton, which adds a greenish pigment to the ocean. The reason Hiller Lake is pink is because of its high salinity, basically its saltiness, as well as a reddish algae and a pink bacteria. The reason why some glacial lakes appear turquoise is because of glacial erosion, adding small particles to the water. Honestly, I love me some dissolve organic compound chat. So if the ocean was clear to the naked eye, it would mean it was either less deep, light no longer works the way it currently does in the laws of physics, and or ocean algae will have disappeared, which would mean the amount of carbon in the atmosphere would go way up as algae converts carbon to oxygen, and also it feeds all kinds of fish. Less ocean algae means less fish and less oxygen, which means less happy days for us fair humans. Let's just pretend that all of that wouldn't be the case if the oceans were clear, because they just are. So there. Thing is though, if the oceans were clear, they would be much hotter. Have you ever noticed how water gets darker the more of it that there is? The oceans are blue because of a scattering of light, but if all light was being absorbed, then the photic zone of the ocean would increase. Also, the sunlight hitting the bottom of the ocean would warm things up. Changes in ocean temperature are always a surefire way to disrupt ecosystems, and of course, have glacial melting implications. Ocean warming also leads to deoxygenation, less oxygen in the water, and ocean acidification, which again, has extremely detrimental impacts on marine life and human life. If the ocean was transparent, then Earth would look very different from the International Space Station. We would be far more greenish, brownish, greyish, with a distinct lack of blue. BBC's revered documentary Entry blue planet would sound pretty sci fi and would need to be rebranded as brownish, greyish, greenish planet. Catchy. Standing on the shoreline would be pretty cool too. If the water were truly clear, we would see great chasms and underwater mountains, which would be quite epic. And if we swam out, it would kind of be like we were floating in the air, but of course, we would be buoyed by the water. If oceans were clear, I have to say diving would be pretty cool, as would canoeing and water sports where you could paddle over shipwrecks and the like. Perhaps there would be an economic boost from the more attractive tourism and leisure sector, but I do have to say, would not a clear ocean actually be kind of terrifying? Yeah, it would be cool to see more fish, but some fish are more visually pleasing and less fear inducing than others. Do you really want to know what is lurking below you? Would you be able to see a shark coming? Would you be able to see all of the people peeing in the ocean at the beach because like, ugh, gross. Circling back to our shipwreck chat though, maybe clear oceans would mean it would be easier to find many things that we've lost over the years. Countless vessels have been lost to the water over our history, concealed in the murky depths. 
pirates? If the ocean were clear, would we start finding loads of lost pirate treasure? If so, ahoy there. Would we finally know what happened to MH370? Would the lost city of Atlantis finally be found? How many dead bodies would be spotted from the decks of cruise ships and would we be able to actually see how much pollution we're pumping into the ocean? And would we be able to see all the plastics we've ditched there too? What would the implication of that be? I think if I knew what was in the ocean I'd be much less inclined to take a dip, but maybe clearer oceans are the decisive action that we need, the wake up call that we need. As fun as these thought and imagination adventures are, with the ocean made up of nutrients and particles we know it to be and with the light reflecting the way we know it does, the ocean will actually never be clear, likely they'll always be blue, unless something really really weird happens and well that's a different thought experiment for another day. Guys, let me know how you feel about a clear ocean. Would you be weirded out? Let a gal know in the comments section down below, and also do leave a thumbs up on this video as a thank you for the entertainment. I'll keep on bringing it. Before I go, I'm going to read some comments from the video What If We Never Started Hunting Whales. Clay Talman said, Rebecca, did you miss that Canada was also a whaling country? It saddened me that you pointed out America's flaws but forgot to mention Canada's. Do you know what? You're right. Canada were also involved in whaling too, with lots of whales around, but I think I mentioned the biggest country and the fact that it was big to their economy. I didn't name all of the countries that were in whaling, plus a lot of our viewers are from the US, so the facts are more relatable, but you're right, Canada were most definitely involved in whaling, but they're not anymore. Good. Zinc43267 said, the closest thing to a whale I've ever seen is an orca. Ooh, that's cool, but I feel like orcas are whales, right? Killer whales. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you've got any questions, why not leave them in the comments section down below, and don't forget our ocean chat. Why not throw in a few fish emojis just for the lols. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, please do stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.